Welcome to our group's International Marketing Final Project Presentation. For this project, we have chosen to create an international expansion plan for Good Food Market. Good Food Market is a Canadian grocery and meal kit service that provides convenient meal subscription services to its customers and ships ingredients directly to their door. We have chosen Sweden as our preferred country in which to expand, and so up next is our pestle analysis for Sweden. Presenting our political piece of the pestle analysis for good food markets expanding into Sweden. So after conducting a, a thorough political analysis, we had determined the following that one, Sweden is defined as the Kingdom of Sweden and operates as a constitutional monarchy. So that means that King Carl um, Gustav holds a purely ceremonial position while S Stefan Löfven is the current Prime Minister of Sweden. Heritage.org describes Sweden's business sector as one that retains a low corruption rate this is believed to be due to governmental deregulation, budgetary self-restraint, and a stable political environment. Sweden is considered to be one of the most affluent countries in Scandinavia with its high national GDP and strong policy framework, which has helped the country stay sturdy during the economic crisis as well as the Eurozone crisis. Due to Sweden's way advanced economies, it has managed to be one of the few economies to have both a current account surplus while also showing low public debt in Europe. Had COVID not happened, this would have allowed Swedish governments to maintain a strong expansionary and fiscal position, which they would have used to help increase social health and education budget. Due to COVID-19, however, all the economies worldwide has become unstable and has then become the main cause of the new recession. Sweden's GDP has estimated to fall by 7.8% by the end of 2020, which dramatically impacts the government's previous fiscal plans as mentioned above. The government has issued containment measures, but they have been laxer in their policing than other OECD countries. Even with these stringent measures, private consumption has decreased, but it is expected to slowly recover over the next few months. Canadian consumer behaviors are, people are lazy, you know, they want, the best convenience, the easiest service. Luckily, good food provides that. They grab the groceries that you require for the meal, they gather them, they bring them to your house. So delivery, which is free by the way, um, they give you a recipe for what to do with this, these, uh, these food baskets. Um, people, are, people are cheap. Now good food provides great affordable service. The delivery is free. You're just paying for the basket and what's inside of the basket. Plus you get complimentary recipes, as mentioned. Uh, taste driven, people are driven by their taste buds. Now, the thing is, good food is very healthy type of food, which is not exactly the most tasty kind of food, which is why we're not really appealing to those people. We're appealing to the people that eat with their brains. What I mean by that is health conscious. Familiarity. So we, uh, Canadian consumers like to eat stuff that they know that they're used to. Special diets. So Good Food provides many baskets for keto diets, vegan diets, pescatarian diets, you name it. It's, it's got it. Some unique Swedish consumer traits are they are not loyal customers. They will always go for a better, more tasteful, cheaper option. Um, they do their research. They always research, you know, Exactly, the better option, right? That's why they're not loyal. Uh, health conscious, they love to eat healthy and they love home cooking, traditional cooking. And that's why Good Food will be providing traditional meals to give that homemade essence. There were three main things that, that we kind of talked about. So the first one um, was, was the fact that they have a website and for them to move into Sweden, it, it would be very important for, for them to have their own sort of do domain name. Um, this would sort of um, make it so that the Swedish population could uh, access the website and choose the, the meal kits that they want. Uh, we also knew that it would be very important for, for them to have some sort of cross communication between the home offices in Canada and uh, the offices in Sweden to basically discuss um, the things that they could sort of implement. Um, so examples of what they could use could be like Zoom, 
They could also use Skype um, if they're trying to video conference and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, so there's there's a lot of ways for them to sort of cross c communicate. Um, and then another thing that we also touched on too was the fact that um, that the company would need to re register its name onto the Swedish company's registration office uh, to basically uh, use the the good food name uh to basically create like its own sort of brand in Sweden. Um another thing that we also touched on too was was the fact that um uh that social media can play a large part in trying to uh publicize and boost the name of good food in the Swedish market. Legal section. There are four main areas of business law that good foods will need to be mindful of and ensure that they are following. The four areas would be consumer law Due to Good Foods Corp using e-commerce as their main form of business, they will have to be especially careful of following all e-commerce laws. Next will be copyright law. As the company is expanding into a new region, they will also need to look at existing companies with similar or same copyright trademarks to ensure that the company is not infringing on any of the laws in Sweden. Next, we have health and safety law. Due to Good Foods being a company that works directly with food, they will need to take extreme caution to follow all the regulations that the Food Act has imposed, but there are also other general health and safety laws that they will need to follow as well. Our fourth category is import and export law. Because Good Foods will need to be extremely careful in all the imports and export laws as they are a company that is branching into a new region and failure to comply with the laws can result in massive fees. Good Foods should be familiar with most of the laws stated above as they are very similar to the ones in Canada. The legal system both in Sweden and Canada do have many similarities. Moving on to the environmental section. Sweden has long been known as an environmental pioneer as they were the first country in the world to introduce and pass an Environmental Protection Act in 1967. For over a decade, Sweden has been within the top 10 countries globally on the Environmental Performance Index and more than 50% of their national energy supply currently comes from renewable sources. According to the Swedish government, the policies they have implemented have led to 99% of their waste either being recycled or being used to produce biogas, meaning only 1% of their waste ends up in a landfill. They have set the goal of zero net greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, and current emissions are one of the lowest in Europe, having decreased by 20% since 1990. Citizens of Sweden are highly known for their engagement on climate issues. Just think of Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old Swedish teen who started a global strike on emissions called School Strike for Climate. The public is very knowledgeable about climate change and its potential impacts, and there is high commitment among citizens regarding societal climate initiatives. It is very important for good food market to take these governmental policies and public opinions on climate change into account when expanding in order to succeed in Sweden. Marketing plan we have um, to brainstorm the outcomes. So in this case, uh, we need to ensure a smooth transition into the Swedish market. We need to localize language and adapt to culture. And we also need to create partnerships within the country to help facilitate businesses with consumers. Um, part two of the market plan is to assign the implementation. So we basically need to, to ensure that the right teams are handling the right parts of the process. Um, and we also need to make sure that there's localization. We need to make sure that there's partnerships being assigned. Uh, we also need to make sure that the administration team is getting all, all the finances done um, and to carry it on from there. Uh, and part three is the risk assessment. So the important thing about the risk assessment is that we want to ensure that um, Good Food Sweden is doing everything that it can to sort of beat the competition out. Because in, in this case, if they aren't the best meal kit option available, then unfortunately uh, their their chance to like see a large amount of success would diminish. So in this case, it's how good are they in comparison to, to the rest of the competition. The logistical side of the marketing plan is uh, we will be building a 10,000 square foot warehouse with a office built, space built on the inside in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, this operation will cost about $300,000 Canadian and $150,000 Canadian to refurbish and for all the equipment for the project. Now, this is where all the business will be conducted. Um, the manufacturing of the food baskets, 
the loading of delivery events, meetings, marketing, all that stuff. Now, the employee team consists of a delivery crew, a security, a marketing team, technology team, manufacturing squad, maintenance gang, uh, customer assistance, food critics, and promotion paparazzi. Uh, now, we will have some special delivery services in, uh, during this COVID time. Nation, we believe Sweden to be a lucrative option for international expansion, a good food market, meal kit, and online grocery company, as Sweden is a modernized society that encourages economic growth and forward investment. Sweden's cultural environment is one that welcomes progress and market success. This is demonstrated through their desire to be impartial, inclusive, and observant of their citizens. They value education, fairness, integrity, within their societal system. These values offer a stable market environment to enter into with many lucrative opportunities for a good food market.